Hello, and welcome back to the Placeholder Podcast, the only podcast where two guys in two different states with a placeholder in the name do a podcast. Anyways, hey, I've had a recent crisis. I've been thinking about this for a while. Would you like to hear about it? <laughs> uh, sure, sure. We got this far. Okay, so, well, you remember Craig of the Creek that I've told you about, yes? You've told me about it, yeah. Well, okay. It, bottom line, it's one of my favorite shows currently on. Here's the thing. It's 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 like, you know Recess? You know the show Recess? Uh, I'm familiar with it. I haven't really watched much of it, but yeah. Okay, so you know how like the kids have their own society and they they kind of, they act they they have they basically have all like laws and rules in a society. So Craig of the Creek, it's like that, but it's like if the kids were at home instead of at school. But yeah. so, so there's a lot of okay, so there's a lot of things that happen. The show is constantly filtered through like their imagination, so you see what they're seeing. But there's also been a couple of times where like genuinely supernatural stuff that cannot be explained by just their imagination happens. Like there's a couple episodes that have real ghosts in them. There's a couple of times where things move on their own. And like, okay. So but like the idea being that it's them imagining this. But do you know what I'm saying? Mm, kind of yeah, so you're saying that like we get kind of a glimpse at their imaginary world, but then some things happen in the imaginary world that seem to affect the real world and can't be explained as just being imagination. Yeah. Well, it's not that we even get glimpses. It's that it's constantly filtered through their imagination. It never, like, cuts to reality or anything or shows what's really happening. So some of the stuff is implied. Like, one of the kids, Carter, has the ability to basically build robot mechs out of cardboard that are ridiculously realistic. And up at for that was always implied that that was something that was actually real, um, and the characters commented on it in a way that implies that he actually can do that, and I thought that was just part of the absurdity. And then with the ghosts and stuff that showed up in a couple of episodes, it's like, okay, so we've established that there are some genuine supernatural things. There's another episode where they're having, like, like somebody's going around jinxing people, but the jinx is treated as a like an actual supernatural way, preventative measure of them they can't talk. Because it happens to people who aren't aware of what's happening, and then they can't talk afterwards. So I always thought that that was one of the things. But in a recent episode, okay, there's a part where they're on a big cardboard train doing like a railroad heist, but for milk in a train. Mm -hmm. And I thought, my first thought with the cardboard train was, oh, that's just one of the things that Carter made. But then at the very end, that when they're like going to go over a cliff, they cut back to reality, and it's just a tiny a train made of boxes going up to like a pond. And it's like, Wait, so that wasn't real? Wait a minute. <laughs> now I now I have questions. I I was under the impression that some of this was real and some of it was not, but now I've seen it where it. So I'm just because now I'm like, so even those other words, it was it always filtered through their imagination? Or have we just never stopped the filter? Or even the supernatural stuff through the filter? I'm questioning everything about the foundational premise of the show now. <laughs> Are you overthinking they, it, though? Is that like... No, they have a scene where they cut from the cardboard train to show what they're actually seeing, and they never do that. They usually just leave it in their imagination, and it's just by implication. And some of the stuff is implied real. And I always thought the cardboard was one of the things that was real, and it was just uh, absurd deliberately. But now it's like, so wait, now I have to wonder were any of the cardboard things real? Any of that stuff that happened, was I just constantly seeing it through their imagination? it really seemed like they were implying that some of it was real sometimes, but now I'm not sure. And everything has been shaken. Hmm. Yeah, I don't That's know. where I am with this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't even seen it, so I can't really commentate on you that. You should watch it. It's so good. I might. I might. And it's almost over. There's only like... Tw there's. They're going to do... There's 20, 26 more episodes, and then it'll be over. Huh. How long are the episodes? Like 20 minutes? 10 they're, minutes? They're 11 minute episodes. Okay, cool. It's going to have a total of 181 episodes. Nice. nice. And maybe a movie. I don't know if the, the the fifth season got cut in half during the animation purges of last year. Right. Weird times we live in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyways. So what, what are we what talking about? I was about to ask you that. What are we talking about today? Uh, you don't. What are we talking about today? Well, usually we figure this out before we start recording, but apparently neither of us thought to do that. Um, so here's something random. So you know that I, I play that card game, Flesh and Blood, right? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, no, that one. I, I, I've talked about it a little bit here. I talked to you about it a lot more than we talked about I, it on I, the show. But Oh, yes, and I only ever absorb like half of what you say. 
<laughs> yeah, but anyways, just something funny. So, like, uh, not the last set that came out, I, Outsiders, but uh, the set that came out just before Outsiders, or I guess a few months before Outsiders, uh, it was a supplemental set. What? Outsiders? That's the latest that- set. That's, that's the name of the latest set that released uh, last month. Or, uh. <laughs> yeah, last month. Um, yeah, no, it's uh, basically they, they do a thing where they do a standalone set and then a supplementary set or like a standalone or draft set is what they call it because it supports playing a draft mode, which I, I won't go into the effort of playing that. Basically, if you were to only buy cards from Outsiders, you could build a functional deck and play a game. Uh, if you only bought okay. cards from a supplementary set, uh, that would not be true. Like, you would probably be missing some stuff. You wouldn't really be able to build a functional deck out of only cards from a supplementary set because supplementary sets are made entirely to, well, you know, supplement the sets that have already exist, right? Uh-huh. So anyways, uh, the previous supplemental set that came out just before Outsiders was called Dynasty. And one of that, okay. so it included a lot of brute cards, and one of the brute cards they included was a new weapon called Rock. Right. Right, it's a, it's called rock, and basically it's uh it's a very I'm weird on a weapon. rock. It 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 does seven damage, like so. It's it's a pretty powerful weapon. That's I don't know like, if that's a lot or a little. That's a lot. The typical weapon does like three, up to three is kind of the normal okay. number, uh, but this does seven damage and also has an effect that says damage that would be dealt by rock can't be prevented. So I mean, you can still block. There's just other ways you can prevent damage other than blocking. That rock is apparently just able to bypass completely. But the, the yeah, so trick when it is, says damage dealt by rock, does that mean dam- damage that is... Because if you block it, then it would not be damage that was dealt by rock. Exactly, yeah. So if you block it, that pre- that keeps the damage from being dealt. If damage is dealt, there are other things you can then do to prevent damage being dealt. Like usually with like instant cards or like uh, certain equipments. But yeah, rock bypasses those completely. Um, but the, tr- the, the catch is, like it's a pretty powerful weapon. The catch is it costs three resources to play. And it has the text that says activate rock only if you have no cards in hand. And so that's okay. pretty difficult to do because typically the way you play the game is you play a card and then you pitch to play it, which means you then have to take a card from your hand, put it into your pitch zone to gain that meant like the designated number, of, like every card has a pitch value. So typically, you know, for a three cost weapon, you would play a card, you'd play the weapon, then pitch a three cost card to pay for it. You can't do that with rock because technically you would still have a card in your hand when you activate it if you activated it and then pitched. So you have to somehow structure your turn to have three leftover resources in your hand or in your pitch zone and then play rock, which is very difficult to do as a brute. So it's kind of interesting to see what decks they come up with. Anyway, sorry, all this, a very long-winded way to say that as soon as I saw this card came out, because what it is, like what the actual artwork looks like for rock is it's like a little rock. Kind of. It's like a little stone like carving kind of almost looks like, I almost want to say like an Eastern Island head, but like. Not quite. It has like little handles on the sides. It's basically like a little rock with a face. But as soon as I saw Does that... Does it look like a rock? <laughs> well, as soon as I saw that, I had to... Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I had the same idea. I, I said, you know what? Like, someone needs to make a make a thing out of this. Where, uh, well, basically, I waited... I'll, I'll, I'll just say, I waited a few months. I wanted to see if someone else would do this first. Someone that actually had, like, Photoshop skills. No one did. So finally, I said, all right, I'll do it myself. And I just crudely cut and paste a picture of Dwayne the Rock Johnson onto Rock, printed right. it out and laminated it. I now have a card of Rock with Dwayne the Rock Johnson's face on it. It's, I'm looking at it right now, and it's it's beautiful. I keep it on my desk. Wait, you have a card with Dwayne the Rock Johnson's face? Yes, it's it's yeah, it's it's a card from Flesh and Blood, and I just took Dwayne the Rock Johnson's I face. S- I want to see that. Oh yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I'll show it to you for sure. I know. Hold on. Hold on. What? What? Hello? I was, okay. I was about to show him. I, just, I can put it on the screen so he can see it, but I guess his audio might have cut out. That's not good. Okay. Um. Anyways, yeah, it's it's a fun card. I haven't actually seen it used that much, though, because like I said, it's pretty hard to work with. Uh, I do have a friend I play with, though, that built a deck around that. He played the the play, the play uh, the character KO Berserker Runt. It's one of the brute characters uh, that kind of functions off of Go Again, which for those of you who don't know, Go Again is basically a trait certain cards have that lets you continue to play cards on your turn. If you play a card without Go Again, that uh, uses up your action point and then doesn't give you another one, basically. Sorry, this is probably getting really hard for people to understand that don't know Flesh and Blood. My point is, it's very fun to see how people work this card into their deck because it's very unique in how it functions. 
Anyways, yeah, I hope Mingus gets back soon because I am very bad at carrying this podcast on my own if I don't have Legos in front of me to talk about. What? Um, I don't know if you guys hear that, but... Hey! Oh, hey. Uh, hi. Hey! You scared my dog. What are you doing? No, it's fine. I just want to see the rock car. Hi. You, did, how did how did you get here? I ran. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You live 150 miles away. It's cool. Cool. I brought the I brought an extra microphone. We're good. Oh, that's great. We'll I just... brought a USB splitter. Oh, that's you useful. You can attach it directly to your computer. Oh, that's useful. Oh. Um. Well, what? Well, I'm gonna take a breather. Okay. Well, I was gonna show. Well, there, there's the rock card if you want to look at it. But I was about to show you. I can just uh, put it on the screen for you. No, it's fine. I'm already here. Yeah. No. See, I could have just put it there so you could uh, see it. Uh, you didn't. You didn't have to come to. It's fine. Whatever, man. I was gonna do do what you need. I'm, well. I'm gonna take a breather. Yeah. You know what? I lie here for a couple, couple sec seconds. All right, well, while he's regaining consciousness, I think we'll cut to an ad break. <laughs> <laughs> I got to set up the new inputs for the uh, the second mic we now have. Uh, stay tuned. He's <laughs> 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 rock's head. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm just, yeah I, I mean, I'm happy with how it turned out. It doesn't look good by any means, but, you know, for, I literally threw it. Equal size. He just held the card up to the screen for those can't of you. can't see it. Yeah, it was, I'm going to take that down now. But yeah, no, I threw that together literally in like five minutes on my lunch break. Yeah. And it came out pretty well, I'd say. Um, but yeah. I'm fine, by the way. <laughs> just ran 150 miles, but he's fine. Uh, yeah, but hey, you know what? This is kind How of am I going to get home? We'll figure that out later. <laughs> but um, it's kind of a momentous occasion. This is the first time we've recorded in the same room since episode one. Yeah, episode which, one we had one microphone. That was the one episode we didn't, re the one we didn't record. Remember the one that's not supposed to exist anymore? Which one? The one that you're supposed to forget about. The, the first episode. The awkward first episode that. Oh yeah. Never mind. Look here, I'll be honest, guys. Don't watch the first like several episodes. We figure this out later. Yeah. Just ignore them. We're gonna do the same thing that every podcast in existence does and advise you not to watch the first part of the podcast. <laughs> but also do watch it because you'll miss out. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna them have, views. I'm gonna have a Dr Pepper to commemorate the occasion. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, I might have to. Oh, your audio just peaked very badly. That's fine. It's the fizzy flavor. With a fizz like this, can't be beat. You gotta. When you need a, a soda, if you want caffeine, don't drink coffee. Drink the doctor. <laughs> All right, but what are we actually doing today then? I don't know. You mentioned we made. Oh, excuse me. Okay, here's the deal. We made AI art a while, and by we I mean we put a prompt. Here's the thing. They they patched it out. Okay, you used to be able to just endlessly loop the AI art by using incognito tabs, but you can't do that anymore. But we made a whole bunch of it months ago, I've and actually, it's just been sitting in Google Drive for a while. I mean, I actually paid for the generator too, so. We can still make art if we want to. Oh, you you bought a subscription? Oh, I bought credits for the generator. Anyways, um. But bottom line, we spent literal a literal four hours, many many months ago. Actually, hold on, we were on pause for a while. Did we do that during? Did that before the pause? Did we do that before the pause? We, Anyways, because we haven't uploaded in a while. Well, I mean, I guess by the time this episode comes out, it'll be a regular schedule. Hope so. We've got a backlog building up. Okay, we still haven't figured out what to call the Swamp Thing retrospective. It's it's a work in progress. Yeah, anyways, though, uh, several months ago, though, we played around with an AI art generator. Like, right when that was kind of, like, at its peak, yeah. like that whole AI art craze was at its peak, we played around with one to see what we could do, and yep. we just had the picture sitting on our server now for months. Our and, server. And we decided, you know what, let's finally make that episode we keep talking about. Yeah, and, uh, art gallery. Yeah, we're just going to, we're going to just, I, I put together a little AI art gallery for you guys. We're just going to go through them and try yeah. to remember what the prompt was, possibly. And we'll try to remember what the prompt was, and also who made what, and what the hell any of them are supposed to be. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, here it is. I believe Mingus made this one, what? and that's all I know. I wait. I made this. I don't know. What the heck is this? I couldn't tell you. Is this is this Dark Souls somehow? I don't know. What's the file name? Uh, Does the file name give a hint? Can we see that from here? Yeah. Does that show up? 
they can't see this, but we can. It's oh. called All Knowing. Oh, okay. I know what it was now. <laughs> I was, okay, you know in Skyrim how the one dude is the All Knowing? I think I typed in something like that to see what would come up. <laughs> so it's literally just the All Knowing. Anyways. The All Knowing. Anyways, um, Batman. This was yours. I remember this one. <laughs> it's just called Batman. There's a pizza in the Wasn't corner. Wasn't this Batman orders a pizza or something? I have no idea, but we got what looks like kind of almost Batman. It looks more like the Batwing floating high above some kind of city. And there's pizza. And there's like, for some reason, the pizza looks like it was a pizza JPEG that got cropped into this otherwise weird looking thing. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. And... Was this another Batman pizza series? Maybe. Let me see. What was... Yeah, this is Batman. This is labeled as Batman2.png. Um... Huh. You know, the other one, okay, it's like if you oh, yeah, if you didn't tell two. anyone. Yeah, I mean. So. No, I mean, well, this one you can see the Batman. Look at the other one. If you didn't tell anyone, bat, if you just showed someone this picture, would they be able, would, do you think they'd intuitively understand Batman from this? No. I mean, I can almost see where the AI art, like the AI kind of came up with Batman, like kind of just the bottom shape there looks a little bit like. Excuse me. Nice. It almost looks like they took like batman's cape or something and like warped yeah. it I, I don't know it's batman's cowl and what appears to be you know the combos pizza crack chip things you get at the gas station combos pizza flavored P- pizza flavor he's doing a hand gesture that's apparently supposed to make well, me when i'm talking to a real person i can do th- but they can't see yeah <laughs> I, it didn't help me either though so i don't know what you're talking about Some combos kind of... pizza roll not pizza roll Bring up a picture of... Com- no, we can't. It takes too long. <laughs> Let's just move on. Just look up combos. Okay. Combos pizza roll. I like the other one better. <laughs> uh, this is called bird. Uh, huh? I don't know. Is this this is like a diorama. It looks like a, like a Mount Everest picture. Like just on... I don't know. Some of these I remember, and some of these I'm just looking at them going, huh? Well, some of these you may not have even seen the first time around, but... Did you make this one? Yeah, I did. I think, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was hoping to get out of it, but it probably wasn't that. Uh, this um, one, this one is called Beware, which I think is very fitting. I think okay. I I don't think you made this. I I you made this, right? I have no idea. We, we I appear, don't. Did I? I don't think I made. We this. appear to have some sort of like coked out version of Grimace hiding in an alley. What what say um, you, Minkus? <laughs> it looks like. A man made of crap wearing overalls, and he just, I, I, why does he have lips? The lips are bothering me. The lips are a problem. <laughs> I don't like the this, lips. Can we, we gotta get rid of those lips. And um, it's just, there's something unsettling about this picture. <laughs> all right. Um, it's just, like, it's just wrong. The walls, the lines don't line up, and the friggin', <sighs> what, what have you done? I don't know if I made this one. I feel, there's no way I made this one. Who, I mean, to be fair, the AI made this one, but... I they, think you made I this. I think the AI went rogue and made this by themselves. What the heck was the prompt? Was Couldn't tell you. Viewer beware, you're in for a scare. Maybe that was the prompt. <laughs> well, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, oh, this one. Uh, I think this one's called, like, Spaceship, or... What, what is this one? Uh, Black, Black Hole. Hole. So, yeah, I think Wait, was... this is Black Hole 2. Oh, yeah, there's a few different... Oh, yeah, there's, like... Where's th- Black Hole 1? I think this is one, oh, so that's is... two, and then three. So you must, this is, okay, so the, here's the thing. The one we were using, what was the one, what's it called? What's the program night, we used night for Night Cafe, I think, was the name Night Cafe. Hey, everybody, go storm Night Cafe. I'm sure all 14 subscribers will crash the servers. But you can f- refine certain features and make things happen. And yeah. You can, you can basically keep a picture and then keep it going. We did a back and forth one. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, but so for this one, I think I was just trying to make like a, you can kind of see here, I was trying to make like a spaceship flying near a black hole. And you can kind of see that here, but then I tried to refine it more. It just looks like space. Where's the spaceship? Right there at the edge of the hole. There's like a shape that looks kind of like a spaceship. Oh, is, wait, is that the ship? I think, I don't know. Is this it's, the ship? I, he's. Oops, I touched it. It's fine. Um, yeah, I think there's the lap, a spaceship in there this somewhere. This laptop has a touch screen. Yes, it does. But yeah, you can see I tried to refine it down and. I don't you know. probably used the cosmic filter on this one. Probably. But yeah, let's move on. Okay. Um What? I could Bridger 2. <laughs> I don't know, but there's one Okay, wait. So there's the first the first one is Bridger 1. No, I th- yeah, this is Bridger 1, I think. Yeah, but... that's Bridger 1. Bridger, Bridger. Who's Bridger? Oh, I know who Bridger is. 
I don't know. But let's... I don't know what to this make of that. This is like a yarn man. Looks like a yarn man, but let's move on. Oh, yeah, this one's kind of cool. I was trying to make... I, I, the prompt was like a crash... A spaceship crash site. Oh, yeah, there's version one. That's like the more refined version two. This see, is why you need to put one... See, on my files, I labeled them with one so that the first one would appear first. I did for most of them. I missed a few, but... Yeah, this one is kind of an example of like AI art actually doing well. Like this, I actually really like this. I could like hang this on my wall as a poster. AI art is better at creating landscapes than it is creating things. Well, I mean, at the time that was true. Nowadays, though, like have you seen some of the more modern AI? Yes. Art? Like Mid Journey is one that's. I mean, I know you showed me the Will Smith eating a pizza AI video <laughs> earlier today. He's eating spaghetti. And I hated that video, <laughs> but it exists. It's an uncanny, you know, okay, hey everybody, quick shout out, you know that Analog Horror Mandela catalog? It was like that, but Will Smith. And it's horrible. I don't know what the Mandela catalog is. It's like this thing, basically, it's this whole, you know what Analog Horror is, right? Yeah, it's like found footage horror. No, thing. not quite, it's its own, oh, wait, no, it's, it's like... slightly different. But it, it's like you do webs, you do weird, like, instruct. it's like a mix of instructional videos combined with other... So it's like an ARG horror experience? Yeah, it's, it's very ARG heavy. Bottom line, there's the the Mandela catalog or whatever that one's called. It's uh, the imposter, not imposters, alternates, alternates, I think, is that basically these things that are, that look but aren't quite human have just started appearing and they try to, they lure you in and the... the there's it hints that the I don't, I'm not up to date on the lore, but basically they're they're th they look like real people, but they're all off. The Will Smith in the video is like, oh gosh, that's what that's like a Mandela Will Smith. Well, maybe I'll throw that uh, maybe I'll throw that video into the air if I can remember. To but do it that. is the ad break in the middle of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that there, terrify the audience. Yeah, hey everybody, maybe. that might be coming. So. <laughs> oh, or you could just. Oh yeah, I remember you could these. Just get nightmares from this. All right, so let me explain. This is a whole series. Basically, no, 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 don't go yet. Don't go yet. <laughs> I don't want to look at it anymore, but I know what's too, next is even worse. It's too bad. This is up here now. So here's what the deal. Back when I was in high school, we had an assignment in Spanish class where we had to design a monster, and uh, everybody did like the. They were going for variety. They'd have like a red arm, blue leg, weird one eye, and like they'd have these cartoonish like cartoony monsters with the intent of trying to describe as many different physical characteristics so, as possible. So you mean they use it as a chance to exercise their Spanish vocabulary? Yes. Which is what the assignment was, is, I assume. That is ostensibly the... Well, I mean, I still did that. I just tried to have adjectives that were, like, a much more logically consistent. So I was... I made, like, a creepy, shriveled, emaciated thing that had, like, wispy hair and long talons. It was like... It, it's like a Wendigo, but the real one, not the one with the deer head, because that's not a real Wendigo. Um, a real one to kill. <laughs> okay, I'm meaning like Never the mind. folklore one. The deer head one's a recent invention for, by America. It's not part of the folklore. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice one. Bottom line, uh, I made that, and then when I was using this AI art, many, many, many years later, I decided I was going to try and give it a prompt to try and get as close to the thing that I was imagining in my head as possible, and I refined the picture like six, like five or six times, and so these are the results. I'll stop you when we get to the one that I remember being my favorite. But here's the first one. And then <laughs> right. here's the, the second pleasure. one. This, That one I don't like as much. That one looks like the mummy, but not. Uh, that one. Okay, wait, hold on. Keep going. Keep going. Not that one. Yeah, not that one. Go back. Go back. So that one and the next one. That one. Those two, I think, are my favorite. Those ones came out the closest to what this thing looks like in my head. Go back to the other one. Yeah, uh, this this one is what? I don't like scrolling through these. What? <laughs> You're making me look at them over and over again. But you've seen them before. It doesn't mean and I'm, I'm in the room with you. Pretty sure I repressed the memory. And there's a dog. He's asleep. Yeah, but it's not scary, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one I really li like how it turned out because it pretty much looks like what I was. T I think the uh, at this point the prompts were getting specific to the point of being like uh. Uh, tall, creepy, emaciated cre uh, creature, humanoid creature with long talons, yellowish skin, and shriveled fate. It was getting really specific because I was trying to get it down to create something that actually looks like what I was... Wait. Uh, here, here. How does this happen? It's these keys. Oh, it's just... Is it the arrow keys? These two. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then but... that one, they got weird for a bit. <laughs> that one is just no. Ew. <laughs> this one looks like E.T., but not. E.T. with an anus for a mouth? This yeah, it's like ET but yellow. Oh, okay, this one's yours. Oh yeah, no, I just it was a picture of an android on Mars and it delivered. It did a very good job. This was actually Dolly. This is when I played around with Dolly Mini. I didn't get to use Dolly very much. 
Oh, well. You know, because remember how you had to be in a wait list to use it? Yeah, I think this was... Oh, yeah, this was for Dolly, too. Yeah, no, yeah. I've, I actually... I was on the wait list. Oh, I know, yeah, you did. Because but... you showed me the one, because I was on that wait list, too, and I got the link, and it just didn't work, and then it wouldn't let me back in. So I didn't get to make one, a cool one, on, on the high-quality Dolly. Yeah, no, I still have an account that I can use occasionally. Yeah. But, yeah, so that was that. Was that. It delivered. If um... you do... <laughs> if you... Okay, the next time... This is also... Uh... See, this one looks like... It's, a, it's like a drawing. Yeah, it's it's uh, Gandalf riding an iguana, as you can see. <laughs> I like how some of these the prompt is more obvious than others. Yeah, some of these you don't have to think about. Oh yeah, this is Android just pixel. On Mars. This is pixel art though. I told it to make it pixel art, and it absolutely delivered. This looks you know amazing. What, you know what song goes with this picture? Uh, Gary's song, but sung in Moonbase Alpha. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it works though. Oh my god, I might have to add that. Oh yeah. Um so this was uh... I have questions. I didn't make this. In fact, I've never seen this one. I don't remember ever seeing this. Well, you know, the goal was something horror related. I believe we were both competing to see who could make like a better looking like Lovecraftian monster or oh, something. Oh yeah, I remember I was making those. Yeah, so I was trying to make like a Lovecraftian monster eating a planet and instead I mean that you could say that's what this might be. I, you created okay. Hold. Well, I like to think you've created a chowder character. Well, I like to think the head is not the planet. I like to think its head is behind the planet, and then he just ripped the chunk out of it and is about to eat it. But that's probably not what's going on here. What's going it on? It really here is, looks like a character from an Adult Swim cartoon. Yeah, let's call him Planet Jim. This is the new mascot, everybody. Planet Jim. Planet Jim. Save this picture. And put it as the watermark from now on. I have. Can saved. we do that? Can we change the watermark of the channel to this thing? Yeah, we could. <laughs> we should do that later. The little <laughs> watermark in the corner is just this guy now. Planet to... Jim. <laughs> right. um, what? Oh, wait. I, this is mine. Is I this remember. supposed to be Deathstroke? I was trying to make Deathstroke somehow. Well, I'm surprised I could even tell what it was. It's mostly all the pouches and it's the orange. It's orange and black. And the pouches. Oh, yeah. He does eat. The, somehow it knew the pouches. The pouches are iconic. You can't have Deathstroke without pouches. Deathstroke's not very pouchy is the thing. He used to me. Well, I mean, what... uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is. is me again. Hold on. Is this is this demon? Is this the demon series? The demon series. Uh, this one is titled Demon One. Yep. Yep. Okay. So this Proceed one. Oh my God. Proceeded by demons two through nine. So everybody, yep. buckle up. Let's well, see what look, we get here. The next, I may. I was try. I was making. I was trying to make creepy creatures. Basically, I just started describing demons with like bloody claws or. Uh, ve- Ooh, I like that one. <clears throat> that one looks more like a dragon. Uh, I don't know. That one's like a weird ant guy. No. Jeez. Yeah, I was just trying to make creepy horror monster. I like that one. That one looks like... Go back. Whoa. That one looks like something out of like Silent Hill. Or Resident Evil. Huh. I like that guy. Yeah, no, I mean, these turned out well. They're terrifying. Okay, this one is yours, I think. I think this is another attempt at like a Lovecraftian monster. What's, the, what's this one called? Uh, Destroyer of Worlds. Is that what you typed in? No, I don't think that was the I full really prompt. I really like this one. This is a good... Because it's like there's a skull fit. It's like a Stephen Gamble drawing. Yeah. But colorful. I mean, it's like there's a weird... It looks like a bunch of nerves. Yeah, it's like... like a it, tangle of nerves. Like it's, well, it's a like brain It's like a weird skull man, and it's got all these tendrils. It's yeah, It like really it. does... It's It's got that Stephen Gamble quality of being, like, really jagged, but also really wet looking. I just weirdly know what you mean. But, yeah, no, I you know, honestly, if you ever want inspiration, play with an AI art generator. Like, yeah. your, your mind goes crazy looking at these See, pictures. okay, wait, before you go on, excuse me, stupid Dr. We Pepper. should take a break from the Dr. Pepper. No, I've got, like, a third of a can left, and this stuff, I run, I, this is like oil for a car. <laughs> I run off of this. Goes through you like oil, too. Well, no. Well, no. <laughs> um, no, don't go on yet. Here's what I'll say. People, a couple of things. Number one. I don't think AI is is really people. I do not think people are really in danger of being replaced by AI. It's neat, but at the end of the day, it really just cannot come. It's it's all procedurally generated. It cannot compare to actual human creativity. Number two, people are like, this isn't real art. I'm not sure I dis I agree with that for the simple reason of this is a tool like any other. You can I'm what I'm do when I was using this thing. I wasn't trying to make something up wholesale. I was trying to use this thing to generate what I was already picturing in my mind and tweaking it until it created something that I was already thinking of. So it's just a tool to help. Vi- it's not. It's just a tool. I don't. I think it's a useful tool, and I don't think it's replacing people. Except Dave McKean. More on that later. Dave <laughs> McKean's the only one who has anything to worry about. Yeah. So here's what I'll say. Like, I guess my take on that. Um. Yeah. No. I. I see AI art as like a tool, like like Mingus said, but. 
uh, more on that, like the process of like working with an AI art generator, at least one like Night Cafe, where you have like prompts and like prompt weights to tweak, yeah. and it all very the much... filters and the qualities and the yeah, there's like a lot of different settings to tweak. It feels a yeah, lot. There's a lot. <laughs> it feels very much like a collaborative process. Like you're very much just collaborating with the AI to create something. If you want to just make something, like if you're trying to design and create something whole cloth, it's probably best to still do it, you know, the old fashioned way, drawing it, you know, like an actual artist. Um, yeah, th this is something separate than that. Like, I don't think this is going to replace regular art. I think it's just, like Minga said, kind of a separate tool for a different kind of art. So I think it's very cool. I like that we have it. But no, I don't think that, I don't think it's in danger of taking over from us. Except for Dave McKean. He's in trouble. Yeah. More on that later. Hey, sidebar. What, what the hell kind of droid is for Lob? Uh, he's a protocol droid. He's a protocol Why does he have a bug face? I think he's like a heavily modified protocol droid. Is that what it is? I don't know. Uh, let's hear it. You let's... find for Lob. I'll go. Oh, yeah. Here, oh. Describe your masterpiece. Yep. This was the Devil series. And uh, let's Not see. Not to be confused with the Demon series. Let's see. I made a total of uh, nine of these once again. How do I get this to go away? Oh, there we go. So, I think I was trying, like, yellow shriveled skin. You know, okay, let me just be honest. These ones, the prompts were all variations of something along the lines of a, a creepy grinning thing, showing teeth, humanoid creature, yellow skin with spikes. It was, it was stuff like that. I was basically just getting really specific to try and create uh, a creepy horror monster. And then I ended up with this guy who looks like a Cenobite, but, like, with fire for a head. Look at this guy. Cenobite. Ew. He's got like the shrivel. It's like the Joker when he cut off his face that one time and then he got it stapled back on. Oh, yeah, that one time. Yeah. Well, actually twice, but one of those wasn't really the Joker, but it totally was. Don't worry about it. Um. Anyways, here's the next one. This guy. Okay, so this guy looks like a devil that had part of his face sheared off. Yeah. Uh, this guy. Looks like he's doing finger guns. Yeah, honestly, this guy looks like the um, mascot for something. I like to imagine the red things are the eyes. Honestly, this is the closest that we've got that this thing has gotten to making an actual face. You, can, you got the ears. It's a symmetrical face. Got horns. He's going a. <laughs> and Ew. I don't. That one is like. I don't like it. Oh yeah. Also, okay. Uh, so somehow they all have like hands for a head, and I'm trying. Maybe I was typing in horns. Those must be how it interpreted horns. I don't know. Also, Fort Lom is indeed a protocol droid. It says, uh, uh, was an ambitious Lom series protocol yeah. droid who overrode his programming and became a galactic thief and later a bounty hunter. How yeah. does he move? I mean, how does he move, Fort Lom? C-3PO is like... I mean, he just has basically the same body. Like, here's a picture of him, like, from the movie. He basically just has the same body as C-3PO. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we only ever see him, like, in the Star Destroyer with Darth Vader. We don't ever actually see him in action. Maybe the... I don't know. I mean, even C3... It's weird that they would design droids like that. Oh, yeah. The, and I guess I should say the reason that Mingus was even asking about Fort Lom is that I have, like, some of my Lego sets on, like, the shelf behind him. And he happened to pick up my Fort Lom figure. You have to demystify everything, man. <laughs> I'm just saying that people were probably wondering where the where the heck Fort Lom came look, from. Look, if they're here now, they're they're familiar with this by now. Maybe I just wanted to brag about my Legos, too. Okay. Demon? I don't like it. I don't like Damn it. it. Why are you so scared of these things? <laughs> I'm not scared of them. I just don't like them. They're very off-putting. That was kind of the point. Oh, I, was I know. trying to make horror monsters. My brain is a weird place. Yeah, well done. But I don't like it. Hmm. This guy works. Of course, I'm not sure if these are his arms or his hands. Probably yes. This guy. See, this guy just looks like a devil. You can see this guy in Goosebumps with a rubber mask and everything. And he'd be like, oh, I... I was reading a book and I didn't return to the library and the librarian was actually a goblin. That's the plot of the episode, probably. This huh. is... Okay, look. This is the rubber mask. The library... It's coming after the teen kid and he's like... Bleh. This makes more sense in my brain. I, I get where you're going. I just don't want to follow. Okay, fine. Wait, is this still Demon? This is... Oh. Download one. Okay, this is back to... This is... There's nine more of these. This is just me making more creatures again. And these ones are untitled. Wait, did I get these or did you make these? I did not make these. But they are all absolutely horrifying. I like that. Hold on. Go back to that one. That one looks like one of the guys from a, a game. There's a game. The oh. enemies look like this. Uh, Dead Space? Mm, oh, you know, it kind of looks like the Divider. That I guy, do. that's weird. I don't know, but these are all terrifying in their own right. Oh, yeah, here Listen, we go. I think we're back to yours. 
So this you is can a... see the difference between our art. <laughs> Mine is horrifying monstrosities, ab- ab- abominations of nature, and Futterman's tend to be uh, sci-fi landscapes and robots. Yeah, this one actually, I think I just supposed to be like a. Whoa. Excuse me. This one's, I, I think it was supposed to be. So the it, the title is Dust. I think it was supposed to be like a man turning dust. to dust or something. This is Dust one, two, and three. So this is I one, do remember two, that prompt. Three. So yeah, this is actually. So start with this. Supposed to be like man disintegrating or something. I think it was supposed to be a man turning to dust, which you don't get that at all here. But when I evolved the picture further, you can definitely see that here. It doesn't still look right. This one looks probably closest to the actual prompt, but it's still pretty hard to make out. But I don't know. It's, that one is just a city. Yeah, this just looks like a city being like consumed by a sandstorm. I don't know. Looks yeah, very no, cool. Happening. I have no idea. Like, uh, I thought it was just a city on the edge of the frontier that's fallen into disrepair, and pe- law and order has kind of collapsed because the government abandoned the colony, but people are still there, so there's like a crime syndicate. They live in the big tower. The peasants are all over here. I don't know what this building in the Andover is. No and idea. also there's a soda cup in the middle for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um... So, yeah, like I said, you know, AI art, it's a great inspirational Most, tool. I like, bet it's, like, this is the model for, like, the wide shots, but they, act, but like, they made, like, Game of Thrones and they left a real soda cup in the middle. What? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. but, yeah, this one, what is this one? What's it called? This one is called Eldritch Horror. Oh, I think this is supposed to be, oh, this is a series I did. I was trying to make, like, an eldritch creature attacking a city. Like coming out of the ocean, like a sea monster. See that, okay, see this one. the The first one. Yeah, the first was one you just can't all really janky. Do. You but can this one, city. this one looks like an actual like surrealist painting. Yeah, because I can see. totally see it. The creaturey. Yeah, you see like Is this a, part of the creature. I have no idea. Why are you asking me? I didn't technically draw this. Well, I don't know. I mean, it looks to me like a giant thing with like a baby doll face that kind of just turns into octopus tentacles halfway through. See, it's what you. It's whatever you interpret it to be. Because what I see here. Or is that's like, the moon. I don't know. What I see is like the moon. I see like an octopus. I see a bunch of people hoarding around the shore, like watching it, and like a ship in the background, maybe. But uh, yeah, here's like the final refined version. Well, in this version, it's definitely the moon. I like the second one the best. Yeah, I think I like the second one the best. This one is the only one that looks like an actual page. This, well, no, no, the second one's the best. Yeah, this one's the best. Because, like, you got right here with the... You can't see where I'm pointing. You got right under the thing that looks like a boat. There's natural lines, but on the next one, hard right angle. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, there's another version. Oh, hey. Oh, actually. That one actually looks pretty good. It's pretty neat. But, see, the thing is that this more clearly becomes a moon, and I like the idea that it's a giant baby doll face because that's somehow that's scarier than just tentacles. I don't know. It almost looks like a vortex. It looks like there's, like, water shooting up out of the like, Or maybe ocean. the water is being sucked into the vortex. Is this one of the deep ones? Deep ones? What? H.P. Lovecraft. I have no idea. Uh, You explain this one. I have no oh, idea what I'm yeah. looking at. Yeah, you were, you couldn't figure this one out for a while. I still can't. I think what I wrote was woman turning into elephant because I wanted to see what would happen. And some and we ended up with this horrifying monstrosity. Yeah, some, some um, somewhere in between woman and elephant. Sounds yeah, about right. Yeah, it combined a picture of a woman and an elephant and really lumped the hell out of it. It's just weird looking. Yeah, what is this even called? This one's called elephant. Yep. All right. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the one that t- tortured you forever. That one's later. This one, I couldn't tell you what this is. Wait, what? Is this called Feast? This one's called Feast. I cannot tell you. Well, I mean, clearly there's a weird, old, creepy man eating something with his hand. Looks like a femur. I don't know, but it looks like a man who's just taking a bite out of some weird thing. Yeah, creepy. I like it. Okay, this one was something about a mermaid, I think. I think this was you trying to get it to create an interpretation of a mermaid, and it went a little too fish. Yeah, it was like, I guess it's, it's some kind of... I don't totally remember what was, what's going on here. I'm going to have some weird dreams tonight after looking at all these we pictures. We looked at these before, months ago. Did you have weird dreams then? Probably. I think I blacked it all out, though. Uh, This one just... Is this yours? What is this? Flesh Pit is what this is called. Oh, I think I was trying to see if it could create, like, Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. Um, Yeah, it didn't, but it didn't make, it did make something creepy. See, it's weird. It's showing that it's picking up on the other mics, but when we tested it, it didn't... It is picking up audio. It's just not, we can't hear it, but yeah, it's fine. This one, well, what is did this? Did you make one? this one or did I make this one? I might have made this one. This is Forest One. What, I don't. What's Forest Two? Creepy Forest did Three. Did I make these? Did you make these? I think I might have made these. I think I was trying to make just a creepy forest. Because I know I made some forest ones early, at some point. This, this one's mine. This is the one you made. That is terrifying. You know what this reminds me it's of? It's the Junji Ito forest. Oh, yeah. You, you know what this reminds me of? What? The, uh, did you ever watch the Monument Mythos videos on YouTube? Oh, yeah. Those are related to the other thing. 
What other thing? Mandela catalog, I think. Those are related? Maybe. I, I the Monument Mythos is the other one that has the weird stuff going on, and I know there's like a connection somewhere in there. I just don't remember what it is. I don't think they're actually connected. I'm pretty sure that like Monument Mythos is its own thing. But Monument anyways, this looks like the uh, the special trees from Monument Mythos. Yeah. Which is something I recommend watching. Maybe, you know what? As well, soon as it's you on can. my list. I have to archive it later. You know what? Oh, it's gone. You know what else it reminds me of? What? Uh, the meat tree. That weird animation from like years ago. Uh, the what? The what? Meat tree. I don't know that one. It's creepy. It's just creepy and unsettling for no reason. Sounds creepy. It was made by some dude who also made the sad man. I know you saw that one. I showed it to you. Lava. The guy's name is Lava. I don't remember. I mean, it's it's a creepy short. Go 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 watch it. Sometime. I'll watch it later. Uh, this one. Oh, this is supposed to be like a. I think this is yours. Yeah, this is just like a futuristic hospital setting. I think. What are we? What are we at? It's, I think it's literally yeah, future hospital. Anyways, oh oh yeah, and so here's my first attempt. At, ah! <laughs> this is my first attempt at Gandalf riding you know, an iguana. Can, this you, is before I had. Dolly. I can tell this is an earlier version of the other picture. Yeah, this was like me attempting to create that that picture with Dolly, but that just shows the difference. Like. That's what's funny is there's all these different AI art generators out there, and they're all so different. They both, like, the algorithms they run, they just, you can almost tell which one came from which generator. You know, like, Dolly creates a lot more, like, concrete images, but that's not yeah. always a good thing. You know, like, sometimes, if you're, especially if you're going for, like, horror, Night Cafe is the better choice, like, because this looks terrifying without me even wanting yeah, it to. Night, Night Cafe does, like, these weird... Sh they're they're like shiny amalgamations of colors and sh and organic shapes. But you know, if you run the right prompts, it also does like portraits really well. Yeah. Like I've seen some pretty impressive things people have done with it. But yeah, Night Cafe is a lot more like I guess that's the difference. Dolly is a lot more just you put in the prompt and let it run, and it does most of the work. Night Cafe, you have to do a lot more of the work with the prompts and the prompt weight. Are you whistling? Are you bored? What? No, sorry, <laughs> I spaced out for a second. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, did you make this? I don't know. Or was this me again? This is Gandalf. This is you. I didn't make any Gandalf. I don't know why there's Gandalf 1 and okay, 2. Okay, hold on. Gandalf 1, go back. That's like an an ancient mage in some kind of weird forest. Go to the second one now. This is some kind of weird alternate dimension where there's eyes. Reminds me of Dark Souls. This is Yeah, Dark Souls. I'm getting a lot of Dark Souls. Not Gandalf as much. Yeah, I don't know why it's called Gandalf. Uh, oh, oh, this is... Squidward in the style of H.R. Geiger? No, I think it's supposed to be Spongebob, actually. Yeah, this is called Geiger Bob. <laughs> so this oh. is supposed to be Spongebob. There's the other What did you change it. to make this happen? I think it actually went this one, then this one. I just typed in Spongebob in the style of H.R. Geiger, and you can see the squares. You can kind of see Sponge. But yeah, yeah definitely not Spongebob. But why did it get more squiddy? I don't know what I changed. I have no idea. Oh, my God. What was this one? This is, I think, Gordon Ramsay as a devil. made a lot of devil. Gordon Ramsay ones. Gordon Ramsay demon. Did I make this one? I have no idea. One of us did. We tried to make Gordon Ramsay as a demon. I know you made the other Gordon Ramsay ones, but I th did I make? Okay, so this one I was trying to see if it would make the game grumps. You can definitely see Dan and Aaron in these pictures. <laughs> see, this is clearly Dan Abadan, and uh, that's Aaron, but combined with Dan's hair, I guess. And uh, that's Dan and Aaron, and that looks more like <laughs> Dan. What is that face? He looks like he's going. Mm. That one looks more like uh, Kenny G. Uh, Who's the third guy? I don't know. Darren. <laughs> what is this? Uh, no idea. What's the file name? <laughs> this one is it's probably Hatred 1. Oh, okay. I remember these. Hatred so, 1 through 9. Yes. Yeah, so I was trying to get it to create the anthropomorphic personification of, hate, of the concept of hatred and uh, create some creepy uh, creatures with it. Creepy. So, uh, ooh. I don't like that. I like this one. This is this one's the best. Like just a void with an with a giant smile in the in the middle. But it's not a good smile. It's very too. Go back. I like this one. I don't like looking. Appreciate at it. my art. I appreciate it, but it's look at how disturbing. creepy this is. You got like this. You thing know. Okay, down wait. Here. I'm I'm about to ruin it though. Do you know what that looks like? What it looks like donkey from Shrek. No, it doesn't. Look at you can see up here. There's his eyes. No. And then the big donkey teeth. No, I look at this. What is this reminding me of? Donkey from no, Shrek. No, no, hold on. Just this orb with a toothy grin in it. Uh, the dirty bubble. No. Oh, I know what it is. It's two things. What? Number one, the Langoliers. Yeah. And number two, uh, Senior Palo's comedy video. I don't know that one. Uh, I'll remind me to show it to you later. All right. Uh, this uh, that also is the hatred. hatred series. Now we've got an actual being of some sort. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is. 
See, the problem is that I remember what I was doing. I don't remember what I was changing. Is this still hatred? What is that? No, no, no. This is a different thing, I think. What is, is that? This, is this Junjito? This is just called hell. Sounds about right. I see a bunch it of... It looks like hell. Looks like a bunch of people just suffering. It's just suffering. people. Yeah, they're people in like some kind of pit. And uh, whatever this guy in the middle is. Wow. They're covered in like blankets. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the one that tormented you. <laughs> You know, interestingly enough, this was your reaction the last time, too. It's called the hoof. Yep. <laughs> no, here, go ahead. You take a second. Try to figure out what this was. I think you said it was like a woman turning into a horse or like watching no. in horror as her hand turns into a hoof, right? Something like that. It was like it was woman with a horse hoof, and for some reason it's like in the sky with whatever this is. That face. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, like woman it. with horse hoof. Yeah. Or something like that. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. This is me trying to make horror monsters again. Why? Because oh I like horror. All right. Well, everyone get ready for nine iterations okay, of this one. Okay, don't go yet. So let me think. I think this started out as something along like a bloody skeletonized face with uh, empty eye sockets and gaping mouth. Something really specific. I was trying to get like a weird thing. So I got the first one. And I don't know what that is. Ew. Ooh. That one's creepy. That one's less creepy. Really? Yeah. Uh, that one's too abstract. That one's like the thing from Dead Space. That one looks like the aliens from... Dead Space. No, not Dead Space. Uh. Oh, what's that game? What's that game? Alan Wake. No, not Alan... There's no aliens in Alan Wake. No. Oh. Alan Wake is like a shadow demon. Um. Gosh, what the hell am I thinking about? I don't know, but let's move on while you're thinking about... That... No. That was Dead Space, basically. No, it's dead space, but worse. <laughs> Ew, oh my gosh, that's a baby. Oh, God, chicken hand. Yeah. Oh, my God. What the heck is this? I don't know. This one is called horse. Sounds about right. Did I just type? Oh, that's right. Horse in the style of H.R. Geiger. Are you sure it wasn't Junji Ito or something? Or One of them. Or Gamel? It might have been. Oh, maybe it was, it was Gamel. I like might have Gamel. tried one in the style of Stephen. I did try a few, I think. It looks about that. Some... Looks about okay, right. so... Maybe it's because there is a story, a Stephen Gamble story called Horse, and it's about a witch who turns, she gets turned into a horse at the end, because the horseshoes, she turns the guy into a horse. I have no idea. With a magic saddle. Uh, well, here we got Jimmy Neutron. Yep. This was just, I was just typing in the names of Jimmy Neutron characters. I think I tried <laughs> Jimmy and Cindy, and... Jimmy and his mom. Jimmy, I just, I tried a couple comments. That looks like a combination... Wait, like of Jimmy's Jimmy and C Cindy. It's like Jimmy with Cindy's hair. Oh my god, these are... Okay, hold on, go back. That one's the scariest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one appears to be... <laughs> god, I don't know. I don't even want to talk about See, this is this is why when people are like, AIR, oh gosh, those are worse. Uh, it's going to replace humans. No, all it's good for is creating nightmares. <laughs> yeah. What the heck is this one? Even when you type in innocuous things, you get nightmares. This one's called Jimmy Dies. I think this was you. I don't remember that. I don't. I didn't do. You did Jimmy Dies. I don't remember what I typed in for this or why it's called Jimmy Dies. I think you, I think you typed in something along the lines of Jimmy Neutron Dies. I don't. Because I, I remember. I don't. I did not make these ones. I remember you. Yes. This is. Wait. Did I make this one? This one's called Jimmy Pizza. Oh right, because of the one video, Jimmy Neutron. Happy Pizza. The pizza is aggressive. What? Wait, isn't this the second iteration? This one's just called Karen. But it looks like someone getting ready to fight a giant demon oh, head. What? Did I make this one? Yeah, this looks like, in the foreground, it looks like a person, like, taking, like, I like that there's just witch crosses in here. Yeah, this is very scary. Like, this looks like something. Jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, what? yeah, this was me trying to create a lich. Oh, let's see, you did it. Yes, yeah, so this is Lich. Okay, get ready for... I was trying to create the Lich from Adventure Time. Nine more iterations of... Or ten... Yeah, not... No. Yeah, ten more iterations of this one. Okay, there's another Lich. There's another see, Lich. You can see how I get closer and closer to the Lich from Adventure Time. I sure can't. Well, like, hold on. That one looks pretty close. You've seen the Lich from Adventure Time, right? Yeah, I know what he looks like. Roughly. Whoa. And here's back to Android on Mars, I think. Yeah, this is. This is more attempts at an Android on... This Lonely was a, Android 1. Oh, this is me trying to make the Android on Mars uh, with Night Cafe Wait, instead hold on. of Dolly. Go back. Go back. So, okay. No, go back one more. Oh. First one. Clearly an Android. Second one. 
more looks like a guy standing in front of a soda machine. Third one, the man has just become a soda machine. <laughs> And this is this Android on Mars again? Yeah, this is like that. Almost looks like a probe Wait, droid from Star Wars. What's the, is this? Did you do four? This is lonely Android watercolor. Oh. I must have done it in the style of watercolor. Okay, so this one just says man. I wouldn't call that a man. It's like a man in the clouds. So we have man, man, and Mars robot. What? What is that? Oh, I remember this. This was I. I typed in. I'm just a man with a mustache. <laughs> I, mean, I think I don't know why it's in the sky. Well, I see the mustache. I see the man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. I ty- Yeah, I typed in. I'm just a man with a mustache. Oh I still haven't been God. able to find that video. I. I can. Yeah, I know that video. Um, this is a Mars. This looks like a Mars rover. Mars. Yeah. Oh, hey, the next one is one of the first ones we made. Oh my God, this is the first one we made. That's what you made it. <laughs> so yeah. So I guess the story on this one. Um, this is. Well, it's uh, Master Chief fighting Gordon Ramsay, and uh, I don't know if you know. I don't know if you can see that before I tell you that's what it is, but that's what it is. You it's can literally... see it. There's Master Chief. There's the Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, I don't know about fighting, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah no, that, there. Was, that was literally the first thing we tried to do with an a- when we started experimenting with AI art. Yes, and that led us down a rabbit hole that took. Oh yeah, and this is enough, four hours. An evolved version of that one. And L- then literally more literal, androids. Literal four or five hours. What is this one? Just more androids, I this guess. This just says Matthew. <laughs> I guess that's Matthew in the background. <laughs> Matthew the android. Oh, God. H- oh, this must be Matthew as H.R. Geiger. And look. Yeah. Mogus. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> what was this? Hold on. What was this called? I remember this one, but I'm trying to remember what it is. Uh, Monolith. Oh, wait, no. This one's MDH. I, apparently, it doesn't mean anything. No, I remember this. M D H H C D. That stands for something. I couldn't tell you what. No, because I made this one. I'm trying to remember what it stands for. M D H H Mick Mid. I remember making this My one. My dad had his car destroyed. I don't remember what this one was. I don't know. Let's move on while you think about that. Monolith. Hey, that one actually came out really I think well. You made that one. Yeah, it's like a sci fi monolith. Oh, look, came more. Out really- <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah, literally, the next nine files are just called "More Demon One Through Nine. Yeah, I was so trying to make more demons. Let's just speed run them. No, demon, no. demon. What do you mean? I'm going through this slowly. Notice how the green on his face really captures the essence of Avaris, and his large hand shows that he has a whole a large hand okay, to keep, take the money from going. the populace. Look at this one. Notice how his eyes roll upwards. This represents how he is stupefied. And his We're not doing physique. nine of these. Come on. Hold on. This guy is the running man. Like the Stephen King book, The Running Man, and the movie, The Running Man, with Arnold Schwarzenegger that has very little to do with the book. That movie's he, awesome, though. It's not. It's <laughs> so movie's, bad. It can't be sci-fi. I no, love it. No, it's terrible sci-fi. I loved it. This one is a screaming demon face. He looks like... Looks like the fish man from yeah. Shape of Water. Yeah. Well, Shape of Water? Why'd you go to Shape of Water? You could have said the creature from the Black Lagoon, but you went with Shape of Water. Because that's more... I don't know. It looks more like Shape of Water than Black Lagoon to me. This one is just Spike. This one doesn't represent anything. Notice how this one has teeth and red. The red stands for ready, eat, die. The teeth stand for consume. I don't know what this one is. Uh, mm-hmm. More of the same. What? are we looking at oh this is a uh, mr krabs in the style of junji ito yeah you you would be right about that th- <laughs> what the heck is that did you make this one i might have this is called nightmare maybe i was making these ones number one nightmare no, two those look more like your style my style <laughs> yeah go back because go back to the last one okay wait so this is nightmare one yeah these look like more like something you would make maybe this is nightmare two and this one's just called nightmare 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 <laughs> which i'm pretty sure is a uh and uh, Eric Andre quote. Okay, so the next several, just okay, to prepare you guys, were, these, these are nine, the following are nine attempts at making Palpatine this, to vary. I have no idea, but varying degrees of success on making Emperor Palpatine. There he is in the Senate chambers. Okay, you know what? The, or in the uh, in his office, I guess. Oh, is that what I'm looking at? Okay. You know, weirdly <laughs> enough, no, go back. That one looks like the youngling room. No, I think this is his office. Is that what it's supposed to be? Well, there's Anakin on the left. Is that Anakin? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Anakin in his office. What have I done? Yeah, what have I done? <laughs> um, 
creepy. That looks more like Plagueis than Emperor than that Palpatine. That's you will funny. Be known as I mean, that, that one's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that looks that looks that's about like, right. Pl- that's like Palpatine. <laughs> no, go back. That's like Palpatine, but you aren't wearing your glasses. Yeah. Um, that one's General Grievous and uh, trying to be Palpatine. No, but look at see, look at the way his face. It looks like this is his chin, and he's going like. Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Uh, they just kind of get worse from there. Yeah. I think we... <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's like this tiny little... It's just like a fork. It's like a tiny knife. And he's just like, ah, give me the food. Dude, they, don't, they, don't, they don't let me use the big lightsaber yeah, I, anymore. I need to cut the steak. What the heck is this? Oh, this uh, is... Some kind of... Oct- oh, is this Patrick? This one's called Patrick Starfish. Oh, yeah, you made this. Oh, my God. That one looks like tongues with an eye. Ew. And there's like arm hair. Oh, God. I couldn't tell you what that is, but there's is very it? clearly H.R. Geiger. Oh. Look, pinhead 1 through Who you call two, in Pinhead. Three. Oh, yeah. I think I just typed in who you call in Pinhead, and it gave me... Yeah, okay. It must have um, It must have went more Hellraiser Pinhead. That one looks like a piece of Dada art. This one is a weird balloon with a face. You must have made this one. Planet, Planet Sheen. <laughs> okay, well, hold on. Maybe I made this one. This is called Planet Sheen. All right, so this one was me... This next one was me trying to create... The more anthrop- creatures. Well, no, this one was the anthropomorphic personification of rage, but they really kind of settled on a weird monkey thing because I think there is something called rage that looks like this. It's like a band or something. I don't know. Because you notice how they're very consistent look. Yeah, they're screaming. It well, it just settled on some weird monkey man, <laughs> except this guy who looks like Six Pack from the the DC comic Hitman. His teeth are all broken. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, was this Gordon Ramsay in the style of Junji Ito? It apparently was. Yep. You have good memory. This was Junji. Let's see. I made six of these. So there's the first one. <laughs> there's the second one. Wait, no, that's... This was is... this Gordon Ramsay? Okay. So I remember the first ones were were like food. And then this one was like, I think Gordon Ramsay yelling about food or something. But there's it was it was sauce. still trying to... And then it gets it gets more organic. And then it does that. Oh, there there's a Futterman one. More... Um, oh, this is just called science fiction. Oh, wait, no, this is Robot on Mars. Yeah, you're. we're on Robot on Mars 4. 4? Why did it start on 4? Because Robot on Mars 3 was up there. Oh, okay. Yep. And then, okay, hold on. And <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go back. So it goes from so, robot. clearly a robot. Now it's like a weird pastel drawing of a robot. Now, now it's... it's uh, there's just no robot. And then now it's a house. <laughs> it's like a hotel on Mars. And then now it's something, Mars. something else. That is... A mound of flesh, if I ever saw one. Let's see. That's called Scary. That's Scary. Wait. Scary? These are the Scaries. Okay, so that must be Scary 3. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, these are the ones we passed back and forth. Oh, yeah, we were both... We were. I think we were Can trying we show to... show that on YouTube? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think so. I think we were trying to, uh, like, see, collaborate to make the scariest oh, yeah, yeah. picture we so could. So, go back. The fr- That's the... No, 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 before that. Is that the first one? Was there one before? So, that's... That's Scary 1. Is there Scary 4? No, there's only three. So okay, that's so scary that's, one. That's the first one, and then I pass it along. That's the second. And then it got we weirdly here. organic, and then he applied a different filter to it, and it ended up like this weird crab squid thing. Yeah, so I think this was the best one out of those three. Not the first one. That one? Uh, maybe. That one looks a little scarier to me. I guess. I don't know. Uh, this is like a sci-fi city, apparently. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Sci- yeah, this one's just called science fiction. Uh, oh, I'm excited for this. The next three Shadow- are called Shadow Realm Hue. <laughs> Um, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. So that one's a weird head, and that one's like some kind of toy box. That... <laughs> um, wait. How is this Shadow Realm here? I'm pretty sure we just wrote, it looks like you're going to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. Probably. Oh, okay. Would you like to explain this one, Futter? Is this the first one? Make sure this is the first one. I really couldn't tell you. Oh, yeah, here we go. That was... Oh, wait, hold on. Go to, there's, there's number one. Oh, yeah, that's number two and three. So this is number one. We were trying to make Cosmic Shia LaBeouf. And... No, no, no. You were trying to make Cosmic Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, I would say we made something. Yeah, so there's the... Go back. There's the first one. Okay, clearly... That's Stop something. skipping sorry, through it so sorry. fast. <laughs> it was there's the first one. This is clearly Shia LaBeouf. You can tell. It's like Shia LaBeouf with a weird cosmic veil. Then we get uh, this, which looks like Shia LaBeouf, like a plant that grew out of a pot... In a science fiction, like a pod person Shia LaBeouf. And then, and then this is like evil robot Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> yeah. The then, first one is the one that looks the most like Shia LaBeouf. Is this like, what is this one? Is this supposed to be Shia LaBeouf in the style of Junji Ito or no, something? No, no, no. This one was called Smile. So go back. 
I think I typed in like creepy smile and you can kind of see it here. And then I started refining it and it's, it, it's Junji Ito style. So the second one, you've got the pupil, you've got the mouth and the nose. Like there's clearly a face here. And then the third one gets more like a pen and ink style. Is there a fourth one? No. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, no, there is. There is a fourth one. Then it becomes the, like marker, like Sharpie marker. But I was trying to make a creepy. What in the hell? Is that Knuckles, the echidna? I'm surprised you saw that in there. Uh, it could be. It's just a space mask. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure? I think that was Sonic. Oh, wait. Maybe you're right. Because there is one that says Sonic. Oh, yeah. No, here. this is Sonic. So it maybe is Knuckles, the echidna. It was probably supposed to be Knuckles. I don't know how we went that wrong, but I yeah. I think you made that one. I don't know about that. Wait. Don't blame I me. this one. I don't know, but this is... Oh, I remember these. Wait, like what are this. these called? Space Mass. Okay, keep going. That was just those two. Oh, well, that one looked... Okay, so this one looks more like uh, Nyarlathotep. Wait, no. What's the... Yog sothoth sothoth The guy who used to be the top god in the HP Lovecraft, and then Cthulhu took over. Ah, yes, that one. He looks like seven orbs that are all... He, he looks like that. But then the second one looks more like an actual, like a monster of some sort, like a big toothy thing. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I can, I don't know. See, there's the eye. There's like the toothy maw with a bunch of jaggy snaggle You know they tooth. can't see where you're pointing, right? Can they see the mouse? No. Dang it. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Spaceships. Yep, here we go. Back to Futterman. Pretty cool spaceship, actually. What's uh, the green? This is supposed to be no, SpongeBob. No, no, go back. Like, what's, what's with the green corridor in the middle? Is I that, don't know. What is it? It's probably like a make spaceship. Make me a story. It looks like that's charging up a typer drive or some kind of weapon would be my guess. Do we have to do like an a actual ad break in this? Uh, probably wouldn't hurt. How far are we? Or that much. Oops. Not that. Let's see. Yeah, we got enough we can do. Let's do a yeah. let's do an ad break. Do the ad break. I need a break. Is it Will Smith? You decide. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, did you enjoy whatever that was? Well, hopefully not. Anyways, here's the next one. Uh, wait. This is supposed to be SpongeBob, apparently, according to the file I, name. I was trying to do like I think SpongeBob in the style of Junji. Look, I read a lot. I read a lot of Junji Ito. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could get some good stuff. This was SpongeBob and Stanley in the style of Junji Ito. This one you can really tell the Junji Ito influence because it took the spy. It took that one picture of the woman from Uzumaki who gets the spiral in her face that sucks in her whole. Uh, eyeball it it's clearly taking that picture in and then the more spiral and then let's see where does it go from there so then there's some care you can see where spongebob is <laughs> i'm just gonna keep rolling through these oh you know what it uh, looks like uh, do we do we really need to yes, go back to every we're, single we're one we're not then. skipping over these uh, look like the secretaries from off sure remember off no oh and spongebob 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 see this is spongebob oh, and SpongeBob. he's got you've got his little bubble wand yeah and this then, is there's Sandy in the bottom, maybe. <laughs> yeah, these are all SpongeBob Sandy. See, there's Sandy again. It's vaguely squirrel shaped. Yeah, that is definitely Sandy. And there's Sandy and SpongeBob. Still Might Sandy, Sandy. And SpongeBob. What the? And now we're uh, off of Squid. What is? What did I type in? I I remember I made these ones. Squid. This must be an attempt at Squidward. Oh yeah, maybe I was trying to make Squidward. Also, I don't know if you've noticed this, but when you do certain filters, the uh, AI has this tendency to try and make it look more organic. Yeah. And uh, adds a particular feature. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> um, what is this? This one's just Starship, I think. So that that must be a, that must be a. No, this one. is called Stash. Stash was this man with a mustache too? I do see what looks almost like a big handlebar mustache. Yeah. But yeah, this, that oh, one's yours. Oh, this must be more versions of that spaceship. The black yeah. hole, like it, it, it kind of took the whole black hole and turned it into a spaceship. Yeah. Okay. So here's, so you can probably tell right away, this is Swamp Thing. As it turns out, this thing is really good at making Swamp Thing. Like, cause look at all these. Like, go back to that last one. Go back. That one is just straight up Swamp Thing. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Like it, they're so clearly Swamp Thing. Even when you go with this one, it's more like the heap or the next one. Yeah, that, that one's... It, you can still tell it's Swamp Thing. For some reason, it's really... That one just looks like the cover to one of the books, the Alan Moore books. Yeah, no, this is actually really well. Yeah, like, and some of those... Oh, now we're back into sci-fi stuff. Is that one... What's that one called? Toby. Toby 2. Okay. Was this back when we were trying to make an eldritch creature again? Probably. 
and we named it Toby, I guess. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, oh, look at that. I remember these. Hold on. This one was your favorite. Was it? I don't well, know. Well, yeah, because go back. Because this one... No, no, no. This one. This one is your favorite because it looked more like an like an actual being, and I liked this one because I imagine that the the negative space is the creature, and that the jagged parts are like toothy mouths all over the place. So I, I just liked that one, and then this one looks more like a fish moan in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, this one's like deep ocean. Reminds me of like Subnautica. Yeah. And that one's just terrifying. That one, I don't know. It's that, like a big it's too concrete. Well, it There's almost... like a bunch of eyes. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I like it. It looks eldritch. It I, I like the like, one that's just more abstract. I like to imagine those dark circles are planets. And then this is also. Oh yeah, hold on. I, I is this is this Toby too? It's one of the Tobys, I think. This is another Toby series. I was trying different things to try and create like a weird, veily thing. This was that one was you. That last one that you oh, yeah. you applied the cosmic filter. Cosmic spaghetti. It looks like a nun, or not even a nun. It looks like somebody wearing a burqa, but through the cosmic filter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's not a lot to s- fast, though. You got me in time. What? I don't know. Anyways, what is this? Uh, This is like... I don't know. I'm trying to... No, no, go back. Not that one yet. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what to... The, there's really just not a lot to say about some of these. These are just creepy. Big towering creatures. Okay. Now this one I remember. Okay, so this. Oh, this is your Dave this, McKean stuff. This one I specifically named Dave McKean because, um, did you save a picture of Dave McKean's actual art side by side, or did we do that in a different episode? No, but I. I oh yeah, I think we talked about that in a different. We might episode, have talked but... about that. Well, uh, whatever. We don't need to bring up the other picture. I'll just talk about it here. Bottom line: if you look at this art, you know what Dave McKean's art looks like. Then you know that this looks exactly like something Dave McKean would make. This is what he does. He does. He specializes in weird, surreal stuff that combines elements of photography and found objects, as well as just weird, off-the-wall drawings. Look up some of his interior art or cover art for, like, The Sandman. Look up the art that he did for, like, the sixth book of um, the Dark Tower series. This is what Dave McKean art looks like. It looks exactly like this. By coincidence, I also uh, know of a Dave McKean article where he vehemently uh, lashes out against AI art. But I think we know the real reason. <laughs> because AI art can actually do what he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this Darth one. Darth Vader. Darth Vader doing what, Eating though? Cake. Yeah. This is another <laughs> early. Uh, yeah, this is one of the first things I did for uh, Go back to the AI first art. One. That's the, the best one. That's the best. Yeah. You can see the Darth Vader. You can see the cake. Neither of them look very good, but actually, you can hold on. see it. Can you see the Darth Vader if you didn't know it was Darth Vader? Maybe. You think someone would see Darth Vader anyways? Uh, I, I don't know. I think it's horrifying to look I mean, at. Once you say Darth Vader eating cake, this was Darth Vader with mask off, right? I think this was supposed to be Darth Vader unmasked, I think is what we called it. But apparently, unfortunately, the uh, the AI, I guess, can't recognize Darth Vader without his mask. Oh, I guess that one, it kind of, well... It got closer with each attempt, as you can see, but... And then that is just something else entirely. I think these are yours. Yep. I typed it. I typed it. It was like veil. It's like a veil ghost or something. Yeah, so then we get... That's creepy. I don't know what that is, but it's creepy. Yeah, I like that was like a Silent Hill enemy. Look at those spiky... Like, look at that. You go back. It's completely covered face, but its head is way larger than it seems like it should be, and the bits of skin you can see suggest some kind of horrible skin malady. I, I like this one. Yeah, skin conditions are very terrifying. They, they can be when you put them in this context. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These are freaky. I don't know what else to think of this. I don't know. That's that... off-putting. That looks like something from Courage the Cowardly Dog, weirdly enough. Really? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of it. It reminds me of uh, SCP Amy from Unus Honest. Huh. You see, have I shown you that video? Probably Did you not. ever see that one? I don't think so. This is creepy. I like this one. I think you made this. Did I make... What was this one called? Warden. Warden. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was trying to make a... I don't know. It was like a forest with a bunch of people and an evil one. Why did I call it Warden? I don't know, but there's a big house in the background. What the hell does Warden have to do with it? There's Maybe that guy in the background is the Warden. Maybe. I mean, you can, he kind of has a kinda, chain. The whole thing kind of comes makes me think of like a jail, like a jail yard or something. Yeah. So maybe that's where Warden comes that's from. Next one. This is yours. This is just some sci-fi fantasy world. There's think, not much else to say about it. I think it, you did two. You did. That's or right there. I think that's the last one too. That one's literally just called World. Wasn't there another one of this? Nope. That, that's all I have. 
I, d I distinctly remember an earlier version of this that was less mystical and puffy. Maybe it's it's probably... It might have been one of the earlier sci-fi cities we came across, but did I don't we, know. Did we get them all? I don't know. Do you have it? Is there another folder? No, there's not. Oh, is that our only folder? Okay. That's all we got. I can't be right. I swear there was another version of this. Yeah, I don't know. I sure don't have it, but... Uh, Anyways, we're already pushing an hour. Well, usually we go for like two anyways, so we're fine. Well, we used to push it at one, but I just, I don't think, what else can we do for another hour? We're out of... Well, we don't need to push it for an hour. Well, I guess it's time for a retrospective. What were your favorite pieces from this whole gallery? Um, you know, I will say, uh, the AI art really prospers at doing horror. I really liked some of the horror stuff we made. I liked the cosmic horror. Oh, you liked it, huh? Well, I liked it, yeah, I mean... I liked it, but it's very off-putting to look at, which means it's effective horror. But I liked, um, especially like the big cosmic space being ones. I just like how those look in that style. Like the uh, the AI art does not do well with like concrete images sometimes, and so that kind of lends itself to you know eldritch horror demons, you know. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. Which one did you hate the most? Uh, hate the most. You know. There's so many to pick from. <laughs> Probably one of the many horror monsters you made that were just very off-putting to look at. But that was the point. So if you if you were off-put, then that means I succeeded. Doesn't make my hatred any less real. Which one, though? Which one do you hate the most? You know, they all kind of just blend together for me. How do I pull them up? Where are they? They're, uh, they're right here. Okay. But yeah, we'd have to literally scroll through every... Oh, yeah, hey, we're back at the beginning. Whoa, stop. Wait, what? It just circles back around. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me do the driving. I know which one. You know what? I hate this I, one. It I doesn't know look which, like Batman. I know which pizza. one you hate. Uh, this one. I do hate that one. Do you hate this one the most? What about this one? Uh, this one's, I like this one a lot. I do like <laughs> this that one. This one looks like an actual like wall art that I could have on my wall. Maybe if your face was This a one's clean. great. This guy's the I do new like mascot that one. on the channel. I do like that one. This is Planet Jim. We should we should we should give voice lines to Planet Jim later. <laughs> I don't think he would sound like anything. He doesn't have a mouth. No, it, the voice would just come from nowhere. Let's see. There's my demons. No, you don't. I like this one a lot. I also like this one a lot. This one's so Stephen Gamble. Make that black and white. Can we do that? Yeah, I mean, can you could... put a black and white filter over that right now, like live? Right? No, not live. But that's a very easy thing to do afterwards. Oh dang! So we can't have it here. I'm telling you, you make if that was black and white, it would be like a dead ringer for Stephen Gamble. Yeah. Is there a, there's got to be a way we can do that in here. Uh, you know. Like, can we filter? Oh, it? here we go. Filters, effect filters, add. Color key. Uh. Okay, chroma key, color what? correction. No, that wouldn't be it. That would be. Try try color correction. Maybe you can make it. Oh, wait. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go, yeah. yeah um, okay, if we just turn one of these things down. Not the opacity. Uh, the gamma? Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. Do it. Bam. See, look at that. Look at how Stephen Gamble that absolutely is. Yes, totally. I love this one. What, is, what do you call this one? Jim. Jim. Come on, man. You already named the planet Jim. Uh, Bill. I named it Bill. Mm, what would, I what call would you this? name it? Maybe noodle. Maybe uh, noodles. You know, mm. Just cosmic. Spaghetti. I call this one the dog. The dog. Yeah. Kind of does look. Like, I see the tongue. I know, but when you give it a simple name like that, it makes it more ominous. Because when you know what the dog refers to, it becomes worse. What's the dog? This. Oh. Gotcha. You say the dog, and it's like that can't be that bad, but you know I'm talking about this. It's like oh no. Well, what else do we got in here? Well, now they're oh, all. Oh wait, in... they're all black and white now. Let me turn that off. Uh, I can do that. But... I don't know what I'm doing in this program. But at this point, we've sh we've looked at all of them. Let me see. Uh, here, I can delete that filter. There we go. Boom! Look at those colors. Look at those colors. They're back. Oh, colors. Bam! Okay, bam! Let's bam! Let's just light speed. Light speed retrospective of all of them. They're all going to be in your dreams tonight. Enjoy them all. Yeah, each and every one of them. 
Actually, I hate that one the most. You hate this one the most? You know what? Let's just leave that up while we roll the end credits. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> There's something about this one. It's just it's Donkey from Shrek. It's not Donkey. I cannot see anything but Donkey. It's so, like, just this orb in the middle. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is there a way to... Let me see here. Property. Is there a way for me to just draw on this thing right now? Look, I can, I can see what you mean, but I refuse to see that primarily. Yeah, no, you can see. The, the eyes and the... It's it's donkey. I just consider that a separate thing because I just like the idea of just this giant eyeless face hovering in this. It's just... There's something about that. All right, anyways. Um, there's some more demons. You hate this one the most. <laughs> Why this one the most? This one mostly confused it. you the last time. I don't need to explain myself. Uh, horror, horror, horror. Okay, which of these do you hate the most? This one? This one? This one? This one? Stop me when we get to the one you hate the most. Uh, that was all of them. I, it's, they're all terrible. Hold on. What are you doing? I'm creating one of those, like, when you get the, the spooky images in the movie where it's like you get close to the guy and, like, that goes and it flashes through your brain across the screen. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one just stares. All right, on that okay, note. Okay, you know what? I think I hate this one the most. On that note, let's roll the credits. Are I don't know. <laughs> let's just roll the credits. Do we not want to be here anymore? I, I sure don't. Um, <laughs> yeah. I. Uh... Well, we hope you enjoyed this AI art gallery, and you've seen the truly horrifying potential that this technology has for our general population. Yeah, it's... Uh... Jimmy Neutron will steal your soul. Jimmy Neutron has stolen my soul. And on that note, thanks for watching. Uh, what what else do we say? Wait, did it start? Did what start? You can hear. You... Oh, you turned off desktop audio. Can they hear it? They can hear you right now. Can they hear the outro? Can you hear the outro? No. Then the outro's not playing. I couldn't tell yet. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're getting there. All right, outro time. <laughs>